Well, hello, everybody. How you guys doing? Uh, we are going to play with presets and LUTs today with the new Aurora HDR. Uh, man, it is so fun and so easy. Uh, you're just going to have a ball with this thing. Um, I'll work on two different photos and play with some different presets and show you how easy it is. All right. If you want to get it, there's some uh, links down below. You're going to absolutely love this thing. Um, last year, actually, we won uh, Apple's App of the Year. No surprise. And we have over 3 million downloads. So this tool really seems to hit a nerve with people, which is exciting. I love helping people be creative. So anyway, you can see a little before action here, before after action. Um, let's just do a few different little presets here, okay? Let me turn off this before after. And let me just go for a full uh, reset of the image. Okay, I can do that right here. I go to filters, reset all filters. Okay, now down at the bottom are your presets. And one of the great things about presets in Aurora is that you get to see giant big old thumbnails down there before you even click on them, okay? Um, so that saves you a lot of time really because you can just scroll through and look at the different presets and kind of see what they're gonna do, okay? All right, so this is what it looks like by default. This came from a single raw file, okay? And even before you apply a preset, you can see that Aurora HDR has already done a nice little touch to it, just a little bit of HDR, just a little bit. And you can really crank it up all you want to afterwards, okay? Um, let me turn off the preview. Uh, so here's a few presets that are down here on the bottom, okay? Uh, there is, uh, there's one called Barbie Slip Lotion. Okay, I don't know if that one will make it through the IP group with our partners at Skylum, but maybe. Here's a less intense one called a Cat Pillow Meow Fest. Um, here's one called a Mistaken Jamaican. Uh, you know, we've all been there. Uh, here's kind of a crazy one called the Unmilkable. See that? Uh, one thing to notice about these presets is that there is an amount slider. Okay, so if it's too big, uh, just slide it back down. You know, go to whatever percentage you want. And that's a very handy tool. Now, these presets you're seeing happen to be from my expanded collection, which is available in our in our store. Um, some really fun stuff. Here's one called Four in the Pink. This is what I had on uh, in the beginning, right? And you can see the before and after. All kinds of different looks. Really, really fun stuff. Now, if you want to change categories, we have all kinds of categories, okay? My presets, about 10 come with it by, by default, okay? But then there's stuff like uh, basic, right? And it changes what's down here, all right? You might try something like uh, landscapes, all right? Just different kinds of looks. Click around and see what you like. That one's a little hardcore. It really depends on the photo, honestly. Every preset is a little different based on what you put into it, okay? Um, there's architecture, dramatic, indoor, um, and then this is mine. We're having a slightly different thumbnail. This is the one that it, it comes with, okay? Here's one called uh, Crotch of Swayze. Um, this one's really over the top, right? This one's called H Egg HDR Drugs on Brain. Weird name. Um, and a lot of mine, actually, I go over the top because I expect you to go dial it back a little bit, okay? Um, all kinds of good stuff in here. Uh, restroom mysteries and then there's a, even a black and white one because actually I don't see a lot of people do HDR stuff in black and white so kind of it's a nice nice look I think all right now I'm gonna pull in another sample file here and uh, there's one called lady boy over here um, I'll do a different sample file from a single raw and I'll show you a few more presets and then I'll show you how LUTs work okay here we go this is a castle in Tokyo um, remember, just by nature, bringing it into Aurora HDR, it already does a little something to it, right? And the presets and LUTs will let you do even more, right? Like level two. Um, by the way, I have um, lots of these kind of videos uh, for free on my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, and I also have some on my Facebook thing. But if you want even more, like more in-depth stuff, Maybe even some higher quality stuff, I would say. Uh, we have something called the Stuck in Customs Passport. Stuckincustoms.com slash passport. I'll be a link down below. And for less than $10, you get access to like 100 videos. 
how to behind the scenes, inspirational, some Zen stuff. Zen stuff that I pick up in Japan and all over really. Um, yeah, so all kinds of good stuff. Plus every Sunday there's a new one called Passport Sunday. So come join if you want even more goodies. Okay, so let's um, uh, look at all these little previews here and get ideas for it. I kind of like this one. This one looks sort of um, desaturated, right? You don't always have to go super saturated. You do all kinds of looks. Um, here, this is from my expanded pack. I think it's called uh, Trey's Experimental Looks. Here's one called Flemish Foot Fetish. Again, super glowy on this one. It really depends on the photo. But let's say you like it, but it's too glowy for you. Okay. Maybe you don't want to diminish the whole thing, but you can, of course. Well, you can just go over here and pick the part that's making it glow, which is image radiance, and bring that down. Okay, so it's not quite so glowy. See that? Maybe it's still a little too colorful for you. You come up here and you can, you can drop down the saturation a little bit. Okay, make it a little less glowy. There we go. See how that works? You know, a preset is just a like a preordained set of sliders over here on the right. Okay, so remember, you don't have to just go decrease the whole thing. Uh, you can go move around a few sliders to make it more to your to your liking. Okay, here's the LUT area, LUT mapping. Uh, I don't know who named it LUT. It's a terrible name by some nerd. And it's even worse when you find out what LUT stands for. It stands for lookup table. It shines no light on its actual purpose or function, right? I think of it more like movie and film looks, okay? Like a Wes Anderson movie, or Blade Runner, or Mad Max 300 kind of thing. So what happens here, it starts out at, sorry, let me put it back to 100. Um, as you roll over these different things, you see these different kinds of looks, okay? And it really depends on what you, ooh, that's kind of neat, that warm look, isn't it? So let's say I click on that one. Well, now you don't have, to, sometimes it's overpowering, right? But then you have this slider underneath here, right? You can move it up and down. You can actually move it all the way up to 200%, which gives you, that's a pretty cool look, isn't it? Uh, there's another one in there I saw that I kind of liked too. Let's go see. It was, uh, maybe it's risky. I don't know, I like that glorious too. That's kind of cool. Oh, cool. So, you know, overall, I think this is a, a very fun way for you to, let's try risky, to have a very unique look for your photo. When you combine presets um, and LUTs to get something that's like a quintessentially yours, right? Um, one of my fundamental beliefs about any kind of creativity is that the more tools you use and the more fun tools you have and the more you enjoy doing it, I think the better it is, the better that your, your person, personality, everything about you is reflected in the photo, right? I mean, you can only do so much before you take the photo, like pick your lens, have your camera, composition, that's fine, you know? Anyone can do that, right? But I think I consider this to be part of the entire alpha to omega uh, practice because personally I love color so much and uh, I think it's um, it just really vibrates very nicely with me for some reason and when I see colorful things I just get happy right I don't know why I just I know what makes me tick and I think it makes a lot of other people happy too and so by using these tools um, you can make something that is totally unique you may never make the same creation twice it's a little bit like making a a meal in a way like oh I want like you know 58% of this preset and then like 20% of that uh, LUT right and then it, it looks nice and you kind of you do end up in a with a series of great decisions to make like oh that looks good that was kind of good doesn't matter just choose just choose one of them that makes you happy and that's and that's it all right and also honestly I think sometimes it looks like we're just creating photos but you're finding out a lot about yourself and that's a pretty cool thing. All right, guys, um, I love you. Uh, check out my other videos, and uh, I'll see you on the internet.